Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It's good to be with you here this morning. I can't, you're a little fuzzy, my seeing you, because if I wear my glasses, they fog up. (laughs) So I'm keeping them off. Let's turn to the Lord and ask God for pardon and peace for our sins, brothers and sisters. And if you are a sinner like myself, let us really turn to the Lord with sincere hearts at this moment. Let's not just go through the motions. Maybe we'll even close our eyes if you'd like in order to really turn to the Lord and ask God to forgive our sins before entering into this holy mass. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and to bring us into everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, How long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. The people, however, did not answer him, so Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them choose one cut it in pieces and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one young bull and prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us. But there was no sound and no one answering. They hopped all around the altar that they had prepared. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them. Call louder, for he is a god and may be meditating, or may have retired, or may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until blood gushed over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state, until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound. No one answered and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired the altar of the Lord Lord that they had destroyed. He took 12 stones for the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the Lord had said, Your name shall be Israel. He built an altar in honor of the Lord with the stones and made a trench around the altar, large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, 
he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering over the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar and the trench was filled with water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known that this day that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, Lord, are God and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down and consumed the burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and it lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate and said, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Be Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. They multiply their sorrows who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. O Lord, my allotted portion and cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life fullness of joys in your presence, and delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. And my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pay us from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments or teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus today talks about how he has not come to abolish any of the law. And at the same time, we see that Jesus sometimes had a different way of applying the law than some of the scribes and Pharisees. He had more compassion. So whether it was, remember they were criticized for picking grain on a Sabbath, and he just, you could see uh, God just thought that that was foolishness, that they were getting involved in that. It was really, it's more about just trying to detract from somebody else than really being concerned about the law they were just trying to find a reason to pick at them as they were picking grain. Or the woman caught in adultery, and you could see God, Jesus, was upset that outright sinners were so judgmental of someone else. And when he's drawing in the sand, you know, you're, you, everybody has wondered for 2,000 years what he was drawing. But the way they backed off and walked away, you can imagine... He was letting them know he knew they were sinners too. So certainly we're people of the law, but also people of compassion. And I think that's an important thing to, to, thing to remember when we're 
challenging someone else about the law. And also that we need to be, it says not just that we uh, preach about the law, but we obey it. And in, in an era, not to get too serious, but in an era of Mr. McCarrick of Washington, now Mr. McCarrick, in an era where politicians and priests and pastors can really stumble, and I think it's more important than ever. Sometimes I, I uh, think to myself, I, my most important job is to live out my faith and make sure the parishioners see it. That's more important than whatever I say, because nowadays I think you really got to earn your respect if you're you know, I really, I would rather be sitting in the back pew, believe me. I felt I had a call to the priesthood. I didn't want to be up here. <laughs> but if you're going to be a leader, you have to earn it because everybody is tired of words. Even, uh, you know, whatever the issue, there's, there's an inflammatory issue twice a week nowadays. Everybody posting on the Internet, everybody going crazy about it. How are you living your life? It becomes, you know, maybe all, that, all those words become a cover for not really changing our own lives. I'm so opinionated, but it doesn't keep me from spending all that money on my vacation. I don't mean to sound judgmental, but it's true, you know. I can post 5,000 things on the Internet. What am I changing in my life in order to make the world a better place? And I challenge myself that way, too. So how am I living my life? My words... What I say about the law is maybe less important than, am I living by the law of God in all those small ways every day? Am I making decisions to challenge myself to change my own life? And if I do that, the parishioners are going to see it. And that's more important than any words I'll ever say about the law. Let's stand and offer our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord preserve and protect her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the world, may the Lord nourish in them virtues of selfless service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering from war, oppression, or any sins against justice and humanity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may we be sanctified by the sacrament we receive and have the grace to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts for our own intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also one more prayer. We'd lift up uh, our society at this time that uh, all the efforts to remove racism from our society and also to support good police who maybe have a more difficult job than ever right now, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And we ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life, to set us free as he reclined at supper. He himself he himself took bread into his hands and giving you thanks. He said uh, the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. Which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you, to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace of the man. <laughs> Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And my brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We're going to have a uh, spiritual communion for those watching online. Lord Jesus, I believe you are fully present in the most blessed sacrament of the Holy Mass. While I cannot receive you physically at this time, I now ask you to enter into my heart for a spiritual communion. As we give out communion today, I do invite you to remember we're gonna come up single file up the center aisle and those uh, the, the lines on the carpet help you to kind of see that you're staying six foot away from the person in front of you. When you receive, if you're receiving on the hand, uh, please keep your mask on, and then just walk about six foot away uh, on either side and take your mask off to communicate yourself. If you're receiving on the tongue, we would ask you to kind of be towards the back of the line. Might be hard to be the absolute last person, but when I uh, am offering you communion, you say amen, you can leave your mask on while you're saying amen and then take your mask off to receive. It's good to be with you to give out communion today.
let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to do what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So nice to see you, I tell you, it's so, so nice to be back to having regular Mass. And for those online, you know, it's great to have you uh, along as well. Uh, this is Trey Bart. Hey, take your mask up for one second. <laughs> hey, that's, his name's Trey. He's here with us for the summer. He's a seminarian, and, uh, and we just hope you get a chance to meet him this summer. And pray for him. Pray for him. He just finished his first year at Mount St. Mary Seminary, and uh, uh, we just pray that he uh, is given God's help uh, during the summer assignment to keep growing in faith. Hope you have a good day. And the Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. As Mass is ended, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, no singing, y'all. I'm sorry, can't sing. St. Michael, the Archangel.